Chris, thank you. Day two of the first ever Michigan Gun Violence Prevention Summit. It brought together leaders near and far. The conference focuses on the work needed to implement the gun safety laws that were passed in Michigan in 2023 and the path forward for new reforms. TV5's James Felton joins us in the studio with a look at day two. James. One of today's breakout sessions focused on school safety. I too am exasperated and disgusted that thousands of Michigan residents uh, fall victim each year to the scourge of senseless, preventable gun violence in our state. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel speaking during the second day of the Gun Violence Prevention Summit held virtually. One of the breakout sessions looked at the issue of school safety. Michigan has been hit hard by the recent tragedies at Oxford and Michigan State. Today, experts gave their thoughts on what needs to happen to prevent the next mass shooting. Dr. Elise Felino Lai tells us Michigan's new gun laws that take effect next month should just be part of a toolbox communities can use to protect students. She's the director of the Prevent to Protect pilot project funded by the MEA. A lot of these individuals who commit a school attack don't feel like they belong, right? So they go to school eight hours a day, right? And picture this, you're not good at it. You don't feel good at it, or you're the kid who's on the outside, or you're not, you're not a quick learner or whatever it may be. So what resources can we tap into in the school so that they feel comfortable? Felino Lai says making all students feel that they're part of a positive school climate is key. We have that window of opportunity to help change the kids, the trajectory of the kid's life as their brain is developing so rapidly during adolescence. We have the chance to put them on a wonderful path towards, you know, maybe not even recover, just a different path in life to make different choices, good choices. For her part, Nessel wants state residents to know that these laws that expand background checks, allow for extreme risk protection orders, and mandate safe storage will be in place soon, and she wants everyone to know about them. There's so much more to be done so that the residents of the state of Michigan can feel safe and protected in their homes, their schools, places of worship, recreational outings, and at their communities at large. Nestle tells us the new gun laws take effect on February 13th.